guys i'm welcoming you like everyone to my youtube channel you can if you are not my uh, subscriber go ahead and hit the button and be a subscriber and today i'm gonna give you uh, like a short video like how to do the calibration in uh, a ph meter so i'm today using orion 720a plus thermos production so um here i have the meter where you get the readings and here i have the probe that's dipped in the storage solver so i'm going to calibrate here and i'm going to do a three point calibration where you have to use um, uh, three buffer solutions like i have four ph4 ph7 and ph10 so i'm going to use those three uh, calibrate like solutions to calibrate this uh, ph meter in some point if you want to go ahead and do like a ph measurement in something some solvent then you need to calibrate your ph meter right so i'm gonna show you how to calibrate this one um this is orion 720a plus okay so it's from thermal uh, company so uh firstly you know how to clean the uh, probe and all i think you know how to do it so in the meantime you can press okay so it's in the standby position so i want to press any key okay and i'm gonna push like this button calibrate in here over here calibrate button and say it says uh, what is the time and day that i calibrated it and then it's asking for what is the number of buffers like as i said you before i'm gonna use a three point uh, calibration curve to calibrate this then i'm gonna put three and i'm gonna hit yes okay so it says okay i'm gonna go with three and it says okay i have taken that now you need to wash the probe i know uh, everyone knows how to clean the probe you have to clean it with a little bit of water then i have kim wipes and be careful and uh, dry it out okay great now it says see in the meter it says put the buffer one here okay so i'm gonna dip this one this probe in buffer one it's in here like this so what it's gonna do here is uh, so what it's gonna do here is you it gonna like get the measurement of this solution and in some point it says ready so that means it's taken its measurement and then we know okay the calibration is done let's see so after that i can i want to tell you something else too so let's wait for the ready beef okay it's keeping steady steady doing great still going down i have put the my prop into 4 ph4 solution okay see now it has like taken the measurement and in the display it says ready okay so if you are happy with the number that is in the uh, uh, display then you can hit yes but if it say like far away from four then you can hit no okay and then see it says ready enter value so now you can put the four fine zero 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 and then now i have put this is ph4 and press yes okay okay so now we are done with the buffer one and now you can see in the meter say i think you can say it it says put the buffer two here before I do it that i'm gonna clean this up and i'm gonna put that into my second buffer ph7 I'm gonna wait a little bit like the first one. So it should show me seven, but if not, I can press no 
and go ahead and insert the number that I want or if it displays 7 then I can hit yes and confirm I can go with that value so it's calibrating my second oh it says ready but see it says ready but my value is less so I'm gonna hit no and put 7.000 and I'm gonna hit yes okay now I'm done with my second buffer now see in the meter it says go to buffer 3 here buffer 3 so now I have cleaned the probe and I have put that into my third uh, pH buffer that is pH 10 and I'm gonna wait it's continuously reading and changing the numbers if the number get like uh, uh, stays for like a little bit then it gonna get that number and say it's ready okay see it's now saying ready but I'm not gonna go with that I'm gonna press now and enter the value 10 and hit yes see okay it gives you the slope and it's gonna say it's printing now we are good Okay, we are done with our calibration and I'm cleaning my probe, gently wiping out the water with chem wipes and I'm putting it back again to my storage solution. Okay, uh, so guys we are done with three bell calibration curves here, I have used these three. So it's all done. So bye for today and let's meet with another video. Bye.